6.45 in the morning. Dylan has already, he got up at 6 and he's already been down flying the drone at the beach. So that's where I'm headed now. I'm just gonna see what he's up to and see the beautifulness of the beach without all the people. It is so pretty out here in the mornings. It's always pretty out here, but it's just quieter in the morning. You can see right here where the sea turtles have came up and they walk up to the concrete and they lay their eggs. So tonight we're gonna try to see if we can see any when it starts getting dark. This is one of the pits where the sea turtles come up and lay their eggs and the people from the resort actually come and get the eggs. They have a sea turtle protection program so nothing happens to the eggs because all these people, you know, would be here. Not saying they would do anything bad to them, but they just try to protect them and they take them and make sure that they get hatched. You love flying the drone in Mexico? Look what I just found in the in the ocean. Washed up. Somebody, some little kid could have stepped on this. That is crazy. Gotta bring it down. Yeah, it pretty quick. We are headed to get breakfast finally. It's like 7.15. Um, it's so nice at the resort. Like There's no wind. No wind. It's already really hot. Like I'm sweating already. But it's gonna be so nice. We're gonna start the day off right this time by getting breakfast. We got caught up on sleep. And <laughs> it's gonna be a great day. I'm so excited. potatoes, guacamole, some fruit, and some French toast. I'm so excited. They have such good breakfast. And then here's Dylan over here. He got a cheese omelet and some corn pop. Peanuts. Oh, and some peanuts. Sorry about the glare, but uh, we're just um, finishing up eating breakfast. And I think we're gonna go down to the beach and just uh, kind of check it out for a little bit. Get some shots that I'm wanting to get for this production video that I'm gonna make. Um, and also, I wanna go talk to somebody about booking this, um, what's it called, Chichen Itza tour. And the one I wanna do is all done in one day and you see Chichen Itza, uh, Sinote Iquil, and some ancient or older town, not ancient, but older town called Validoid or something like that. Don't laugh if I butchered it. I don't know yet. But um, you, you do all three of those in um, in one day. So I really want to talk to somebody, see if we can get that booked for tomorrow. I don't know if Samantha and her stepdad and her mom are going to go or not, but I'm really wanting to. So, anyway. She forgot her straightener. Okay. Listen, in this line we have four points, right? In this line we have three. Now, take one point and one more and one. Four points right here, four points right here, four and four. Try. We have a waiter named Juan Jose, they call him JJ. He's gonna do a trick for us, a magic trick. Well, he already did the quarter one, but now he's coming back for another one. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. No way. What do you think? Is possible or not? One, two, and. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so neat. That's wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. That is. Oh yes. God. That's cool. You say, you are crazy. I love you. I'm so rude. I brought this bone before. Come around? Uh huh. Okay. I brought this thing right here. Okay, what do you think? Is possible or no? One, two, and... Oh, wow! Wow! That's pretty cool. <laughs> so we feel bad. We forgot our money and we really want to tip JJ because he was awesome. So we're headed back to the room real quick and we're going to get our dollars to give to JJ. Take a selfie and share it. The taco shop doesn't open until noon. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know why I'm so hungry. It's probably because I only ate once yesterday. My stomach is growling. All right, uh, we are headed down here to the, what's it called, the ceviche place? The cevicheria. We're going to the cevicheria. I get this girl a fish taco because that's all she's been talking about since we booked this trip like how long ago? About three or four months ago. About three or four months ago. So off to the cevicheria. Alright so Sam and I are here eating at this ceviche grill and she got a fish taco and a shrimp taco. And um, I was about to pick up one of these and take a bite of it because I thought they were onion rings. She told me they were calamari, so I'm really glad that I didn't. And then I went over to the snack bar and got some nachos and french fries. Sticking to the kind of food I like. So we're gonna just sit here and eat some lunch. And then I think I'm gonna go down to the uh, playa or beach and uh, fly the drone. Dylan is flying the drone. We came out here so he could get some shots. I am just relaxing by the beach. So pretty. the drone getting all kinds of shots video footage and pictures and uh now i gotta bring it in gotta land it can't land it on the sand because it'll get dirty so this is what we gotta do So what's up guys um what time is it it's about 11 15 a.m it feels like we've been up all day long but the truth is we got up really early like at six 
so that's why it feels like we've been up so long. But um, as you can see, Samantha here, she's just drinking. I'm just hanging out. We're chilling at the pool. Got Tone Dog just swum up. And um, that's my dog, Tony. I've, I've been talking to him. Anyways, it's not embarrassing. Uh, Tone Dog's cool. But anyways, uh, we're just kind of relaxing and chilling here at the resort today at the Fiesta Americana Condesa here in Cancun in the hotel zone. Having a good day. Uh, just drinking, eating, just relaxing. Right? Right. Anyways, just a little update for you guys. Okay, so we're here at the beach still. I uh, flew my drone. Now I got the Sony. I'm going to take some pictures of this beautiful, beautiful, mucho bonita, señorita. Well, um, after being in the pool and down on the beach and the ocean and all that good stuff, we went back to the room and basically did a whole lot of nothing, right? Right. And um, we both, you can probably tell, she got pretty pink, I'm pretty red. So we tried to hide out from the sun a little bit, but now we're going to uh, dine on some dinner. And then? I don't know, maybe go back to the pool. Who knows? This is normally where we eat. It's buffet style. They always have some good food and it's so good to me. Bill doesn't usually eat a lot, but he's eating a lot. Not gonna eat it. Not gonna eat it. Hey, guess what? Not gonna eat it. Not gonna eat it. Um, not gonna eat that. Okay, folks, so for those of you guys who already know this, you already know this, but um, these desserts in, at these resorts in Mexico, they always look so good. Like the presentation is amazing, but they are not near as sweet and delicious as they are in the United States. But this is some kind of strawberry cream roll, and this said chocolate brownie. Gonna try them out, and I'm sure they're good, but they're not gonna be near as good or sweet as they look. What'd you say about fried ice cream? I think there's a restaurant in here that has it, and I'm gonna go see. How do you know so much about this place? I don't know, I, I read a lot about it. Follow the leader, leader, leader. I'm following you. I don't forget that I forgot my straightener, and that's why my hair looks like this. Your hair looks good. Thank you. So we're just kind of wandering around the resort, and um, yeah, it's crazy, like, since we've been here, this is by far the most overcast it has been. It almost looks like it could rain, but it feels really good. Just checking out this lobster tank. It was to my back. I couldn't see him, but I was getting play-by-play -play from Samantha. And uh, this guy right here is falling over on his back. And she is afraid that it might be dying. So my question is, is where is Steve Booker when you need him? Okay folks, so this is what we're here for, it's fried ice cream. I guess I'll try it because it's bad for you. It's ice cream and it's fried. And of course I don't eat healthy things like I should. So uh, dig in, Sam. This is where we're staying. It's the Moon Tower here at the Fiesta Americana Condesa. Now I guess we're gonna see if my mom is back from Walmart because she got me a straightener. I, I think, I hope. So my mom's not back from Walmart yet, so we are gonna go down to the beach again and take the Sony and see if we can get some footage. One thing I love about the beach is the sand, and also one thing I hate about the beach is the sand. Like, you get rid of the sand and then you come back and then it's stuck on you forever. You Basically, you can't ever get rid of it, actually. Mr. Though. Sandman. Do you want to um, maybe stay out here a little bit and see if we see any sea turtles? Might as well. Why wouldn't we? I don't know. I mean, we can't all be Steve Booker, but... <laughs> Steve's, maybe. The, Steve's the man. Um, 
If you guys wonder, I made the comment about Steve Booker when I seen that upside down lobster. Uh, my, my friend Steve, he was in Cozumel last week and uh, he stumbled upon this um, sea turtle that had fallen off this little bridge and turned upside down. And uh, being the legendary man, being the legend that Steve is, he pulled the legendary act and he flipped it over and it went viral. It, um, National Geographic actually bought the clip off of him. So anyways, that's the story behind the Steve Booker comments. Love you, Steve. Also, the reason that that was so shaky just now is because I'm trying to walk in the sand. It's just, <laughs> it's really hard to. Okay, so we're here with this uh, fancy little uh, stabilizer slash gimbal. It's called the Zion Crane. And here's what it does. Check it out. Keeps the, uh, the camera real still and stable. But I'm doing all these vlogs, of course, to document every day. But I'm also going to make a production video. First time having the Sony camera for a production video. I'm very excited about it, so we'll see how it goes. Close. Anyways, we're about to get a couple of shots for it, so that's what we're doing. I have been instructed to just lay here. I think Dylan has something that he's doing. I don't know. I'm just going to lay here. Looks like he's doing some hyperlapses where he takes a photo. Yeah, you look weird doing these, but. He takes a photo and then he moves over and takes another photo with the same focal point. So, I don't know. Oh my gosh, there's all kinds of bugs on me. Dylan is trying to set up the Sony to take a time lapse of the pretty clouds. I can't figure it out. There we go, I got it figured out. It's so pretty. Video and pictures just don't do it justice. Does it? Does it? No, it does not. Oh yeah, I forgot we were wait. <laughs> <laughs> Finally gonna sit down and relax with me. Two seconds. Yeah, I will. For real, honestly, I will. Honestly. Can you put the iron crane on your chair? Well, guys. As you've seen, Samantha and I are just enjoying a nice, relaxing evening after a full day of some brutal sun uh, with not near enough sunscreen applied. And um, just took it easy today for the most part. So I think we're just going to stay here for a while and enjoy the uh, sound of the ocean waves crashing onto shore and a little bit cooler temperatures down here in Mexico. But for now, vlog number 97 over unless we see sea turtles then we'll play it